Welcome back to Music Scrap the Musical Scrapper. I'm working on a watercolor and now I'm getting blooms because I was apparently having sound issues and that's not the brush I wanted. That's a rigger. I didn't realize it was a rigger. I thought it was a round brush. These ones are all for my acrylics. Arr! I need a smaller. Oh, well, for heaven's sakes. Guess I'm going to have to use this one. So I'm working on a watercolor card on Bristol. Using Sergeant Art Watercolor Magic Liquid Watercolors. I've been doing experiments with these the last few streams. So, hey, Sophia. Scooby. I hope you guys can see me because I'm back. Let me know if you can see and hear me because I've been talking to myself. If not, refresh, refresh. I should be back. So, I'm not really liking, Bristol does not give me my nice watercolor look. Don't like it at all, so I probably won't use this for mom. I'll actually do it on watercolor paper for her. Not liking it on Bristol at all. May as well be using acrylic paint. And since that's the case, there's not much point in continuing this because I don't like it at all. I hate it. So I'm going to get a piece of watercolor paper. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <sighs> Shouldn't be streaming. I'm tired and I'm in a bad mood. Uh oh. I didn't. Okay. All right. <laughs> now I can't find my watercolor paper. I've got a watercolor block. Well, I've got hot press there somewhere, too. Hmm. So there you go. You'll never see me watercoloring on Bristol again. Ah, uh, there's no point. I'll just use watercolor paper. <clears throat> no point in using the ground on Bristol. I'll just use watercolor paper. Then I'll get the effect I want. My absorbent ground I bought specifically kind of to use um, in my journal. Alright, so 
I'm going to cut this for a card front. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Oh, someone's tweeting me. Oh, Tecta. Okay. Hi, Darla. Oh. Four and a quarter by five and a half. That way I can trim it a little bit after I do the watercolor for the front of the card put on the front of a card because the card's four and a quarter by five and a half so if I start at that then I can trim it down a little bit if I need to I don't need Dr. Martens. I've got my Sergeant Art. I'm just fine with those. I have no money. <laughs> I have no money. No, I don't, Eileen. I'm just fine with my Sergeant Art. Absolutely fine. Ha ha ha, Judy. Not too long. It dries fairly quickly. Uh, not instantly like some other dye inks, but it does dry fairly quickly. And I ended up with a hint of some flowers here. So I'm going to actually draw them in. So they don't look like a stamping mistake, which is, that's not wide enough. I need to use this other one. And that one's, 
Not the right one, Jean. Why didn't you look before you started writing? Where's the other one? There it is. Jeez, Louise. There was still ink on the stamp. I should have put a piece of paper here to mask it off, but I didn't. So I'm simply going to trace it and make it darker and color it in like a flower. I'm just going to use the heat gun. It should be dry by now, but I'm just going to heat gun those parts I just drew in. Uh, Maca, the India ink one should be good in a spray because India ink, once it's dry, does not reactivate. They're not water soluble once they're dry. So, uh, Terry was asking if she puts India ink <coughs> to make sprays, will they reactivate? And they should not. All right. We will see right away. The difference in how this reacts on this paper. This is hot press watercolor paper by Fabriano. Fabriano Studio watercolor hot press. Uh, Twenty-five percent cotton, so it's not too much cotton for us beginners. 140 pound, which is 300 GM, GM, whatever, GSM. Now, I should actually have this on a board, uh, but it's too late. Too late now. See, that's... That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want when I do watercolor. Is that not beautiful or what? Yes, sirree. Nice, smooth. And that's the wrong color, Jean. Mm. That's all right. I just took way too much because I wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to mess up this one too. Oh, oh. Going to put it this way. Going to let it flow up this way so it doesn't flow into my poppies. Go in with a little water. continue I'm getting a little blooming in the sky which is fine because I'll just use it to my advantage when I'm doing clouds I 
need to put a little more water in that. Glue is a little bit uh, potent there. That's better. Try not to go over the black lines if I can help it, just because they'll stay more true black, which I would prefer. Sorry, I need a piece of paper towel here. So has anyone watched uh, anyone watched the first episode of the new season of Code Black? Rob Lowe is in the new season of Code Black. And usually check the check guys tell Tell Muesli to check the sound on the video. She may have to turn it up. To hover over the sound and turn it up on the video screen. I don't know how that piece of paper towel got. I didn't mean to dip it on water. I dipped it in water. I have no idea what I was doing. I tell you, I am not awake today. This may not be good enough to go to my mama either. Code Black, it's a Dr. ER show. It's really good, actually. It's in the second season. It's very good. I really enjoy it. But yes, I did watch Designated Survivor as well. My goodness, Wednesday night is a big TV night. Now, <laughs> all right. 
see. Yeah, I don't record either. I watch them on Project Free or the next day online. Emma, is Silent Witness finished? Or is there another season coming, or has it finished? Love Silent Witch Witness. I've watched all 18 seasons. Same with Midsummer Murders. pleased about that sky. Looks kind of crappy. Not very happy today at all. I may not even keep this recording. Try something and see what'll happen. That's just gonna make it worse, probably. Just putting a little of the turquoise over top. But what I should have no, that wouldn't work either because. Then I'd have blue poppies. I was going to say I should have done the background first, but that wouldn't have worked either. Well, I'll continue it. I'll do one with my, um, with another paint. Well, I'll do with my, um, what are they called? Oh, you know, these ones. My Peerless. I'll try with my Peerless after, see if I get a better result. <laughs> These are better, I think, for uh, mixed media kind of effect. Well, for me, just because I'm not. Or for a random, like, background where I'm not trying to paint around crap. I'm doing my own. They worked out nice when I was doing my own landscape and stuff. Of course, it could be just that I'm not very good at painting, you know, to paint in here around stuff. Okay. Oh, thanks. Hey, Janet! that 
you check and make sure you don't have headphones plugged in. That's hilarious. Uh, anyway, so my green. I'm not going to, looks like this green might already have some yellow in it. I don't like the green color. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I like the green color that comes in the watercolor because, I mean, I love green. But it's too <sighs> green a green to be like a real green. It's not a lively green. Yeah, it's a very dead green. So this one I have yellow mixed in with it, and that's the way I like it because... The other green, like grass, would be never be that color that of the green that comes in the bottle. So True, Petka. True. I just don't know where my masking fluid is right at the moment. So. But, whatever. I'm still seeing what these things will do. So let's dry that before I go in with the red, obviously, and the poppies. know why my allergies are so bad today I did take my uh it started whenever I went to when I went to my appointment so I'm not sure I can't use that where did my container go with my paintbrushes. Oh, there it is. I just couldn't see it. One moment, please. Yay, reach. These are my watercolor ones, so. Got a good point. Got a good point. So that's the first layer. And I'm going to do orange and that orange is a little too diluted. I may have to add a drop to it. Um, in the center. Kind of a 
think I may have to mix some green with black. That's brown though. This one's black. All right, need to take that brush out of the water. Drop some waterplex in the sky. Hold on. Might work better if I spit some water in my hand. And then kind of moment now it's like too controlled I think I need to scrub it out a little bit make it look like a cloud No, it still looks like crap. Now, I don't know why the paint's peeling off this one. This is the first time it's ever been in use, even. Oh, well, I guess that's why they were on sale. I'm not very often grumpy, but today I'm grumpy. Sorry, guys. I am grumpy pants today. <laughs> Thanks, Darla. Oh, yes, it is, Melba. It is. It is. But it is what it is. Like I said, I'm a grumpy girl today. Grumpy pants instead of sassy pants. Oh, 
and then we have books. Maybe I'll just do a nice landscape for mom because I've been happy with my landscapes lately. But actually this um, paper's holding up fairly nicely. It's not curling really at all like cold press stuff does. So if you're watching this on recording, if I put it, oh, I missed a big piece of sky. Hold up for it. Where's my blue one? Nobody told me I missed a piece of sky. Wait, now I gotta go back and see what. Oh, thank you, Vaughn. <laughs> I am, I feel grumpy today. Very grumpy. I think because I fell asleep at Emma's, but only for like 20 minutes and I'm never Never happy if I nap for just 20 minutes, so I think that's what happened because I wasn't grumpy this morning. And I hope I'm not getting a cold. I hope the sniffling is not a cold. My cousin had a cold, her hubby had a cold, and I was in the car with him yesterday. I'm like, ugh. So I hope it's just allergies. I did take my meds today, so it's not that. Oh, darn, I forgot that piece of blue was wet. Now my red's blooming up in it. So these watercolors do spread nicely, just like regular watercolors. Yeah, wet into wet. They do. And I just proved it right there. <laughs> yeah, music exactly. Blame the weather. It's gotten cool, but like we haven't gotten to the Leaves on the ground, mildew stuff yet. That always gets me every fall. Oh, I know what it is. I know why. They mowed the lawn yesterday. That's why I'm sniffly. Okay, now I know why. They mowed the lawn. 
Okay, that's what it is. All right, I'm happy. I know why now. <laughs> We've got a frost warning here for tonight for all of New Brunswick, PEI, and most of Nova Scotia. All right, so I'm going to dry that before I go in and do a any highlights, low lights, shading. I mean. <laughs> yeah, Emma, sure. <laughs> it's out for delivery, so it's on the way. Oh, for sure, Vaughn. But see, that's like me after my MLD treatment because it works your body system, right? Your lymphatic system, it works all the fluid out of your... and forces the fluid up into your liver and your kidneys and your heart. And it just makes you really tired. My legs feel like they walked a few miles. Oh, no, Imelda, I bought an Instapot, a One Pot or Instapot. It's the Instapot brand. It's a six-in-one cooker, so it's a slow cooker. But you know how you have to, if you do beef or pork, you have to braise the meat and brown the meat in a frying pan first before you can put it in your slow cooker? Well, this also braises your meat. So you can put your meat in. Uh, braise it and then leave it in add all your other stuff and it becomes a slow cooker also becomes a pressure cooker it's a pressure cooker it's a rice cooker it's a steamer um, it'll cook um, it'll cook oatmeal I don't make oatmeal I it's like eating barf I can't eat oatmeal um, but it will make your oatmeal for you so it's a six in one pot I've always wanted a pressure cooker but mom's blew up in the kitchen and the cover ended up in the attic once just after I walked past the stove and we ended up with stew all over the kitchen carrots all over the ceiling and uh, so I've always been very wary of pressure cookers, but I always wanted one because it cooks your food like a slow cooker, but in like seven minutes instead of seven hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but Vaughn, see, that's the thing with these. They have a different kind of a seal than a pressure cooker. So that's what I'm excited about. All right, so now I'm going to need... My orange is not strong enough. So I'm going to put a couple drops of orange back in here. Oops. Doesn't take much. These are pretty. Okay, so now. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do. Oops, wrong brush. So I'm going to do the red, but then I'm going to insert some orange. So I'm going to do another layer of red. But I'm going to insert orange in the middle while the red is wet. To get myself a little variation in color. So I'll go in with the orange into the center. Yes. 
Okay. So, hold that up so you guys can see. Now I'll, I'll go back in later and do a third layer for shading. A little more than that. It needs to be a little more wet than that. what Vaughn said. Oh, hold on. I need to come in a little closer. One moment, please. That's better. Now you guys can see a little better what I'm doing. Sorry for that. Bluetooth enabled. What? CB? <laughs> Fun. Or I mean CB. Don't even. Don't even. That's all I'm going to say. Don't even. Really? Okay. All right. If you say so, CB, a Bluetooth enabled potty. Mm. And in a month or so, if I really, really like my Instapot, I will be finding a new home for my slow cooker. Because I don't have big enough cupboards to um, store. I don't have enough cupboard space to store everything. And so this Instapot will become my slow cooker and my pressure cooker and my rice cooker. I meant I colored a petal green. Oh, yes, so I did. Ha! Huh. If I go over it, it's going to be brown. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Not too bad, actually. Yep, we'll check it out, Allie, after I stream. Yeah, Janet, you're glad. Be glad. Be glad.
I know, you guys are just trying to get me out of my grumpy pants mood. Dee Dee will be glad she's not here to see this live. Grumpy Pants. That'll have to be the name of today's stream. Grumpy Pants Lives. Oh, way, way too much, Jean. The eye of that looks like it should be a green leaf. Well, it's now become a poppy pod. Should have looked a little closer at it, I guess. Welcome back. Hi, Julie. Hello, hello. Exactly. Designed by Canadians. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know if mine's Bluetooth enabled. That's interesting. Huh. I don't know. That would be cool if it is. I could be away and say, oh, I forgot to press start. Or if you're running late, you can put it on keep warm. Ignore my horrible painting, Julie. I'm grumpy pants today. And I don't like my blue. It's icky. So I'm finishing anyway. <laughs> uh oh. Poor Heather. She broke chat. Yeah, I wasn't there, Heather. Missed it. Very interesting how much the orange takes over for the red. Like, I didn't dip much orange in there, and it just, I mean, I know it flows, but it really kind of takes over from the red, which is 
Interesting. <laughs> I'm just not happy with the blue because I know I can do better. And I'm sniffling. Oh, I must have the man flu because I'm grumpy. <laughs> oh, dear. last night from my best friend whose husband contracted a very rare heart condition called constrictive pericarditis it's extremely rare in the western world because it's usually caused in pain it's usually found in patients with tuberculosis excuse me for a moment I ran out of Kleenex. I better put those on my shopping order. Blow but always if I... Excuse me! Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, it's found in patients with TB. So it's not very common at all in the Western world and... They were really worried once they diagnosed it because there aren't many Canadian doctors who can do the surgery that he needed because it's so rare here. Anyway, just so happened that at our heart center in St. John Hospital, there was a heart surgeon from Pakistan doing some teaching. It was here from Pakistan doing teaching and uh, he was able to do the surgery because of course in Pakistan this condition is a little more common it's still rare but they have more TB over there so they have this disease shows up more often but what happens is this of uh, the virus usually TB but he tested negative for TB so he did have a virus in uh, February, March, I was quite sick. So they figured it must be some kind of weird virus he caught that caused this. So what happens is a skin grows around the heart, constricting the heart. Hey, <laughs> Judy. Bots talking to you, Emma. Hoo -hoo -hoo. See, gotta be good. <laughs> anyway, so he had his heart surgery on Friday morning. They have to go in, crack through the ribs. Take the heart out, remove the skin that's grown around the heart, put the heart back in. Yeah, he came home from the hospital yesterday. Five days later and he's already home from the hospital. Still all bruised. and so Anyway, he's home from the hospital. Everything went well because one of the things they have to watch for during the surgery is once they remove the skin from around the heart, the heart can expand and start pumping again so quickly that it can cause heart failure. <laughs> well, just so you know, Eileen and I were the first ones to get spoken to by the bot in our group. Just so you know. Happened to us a while ago. It's a little more lively with the orange. <laughs> Emma, hi, Jillian. So, anyway, he's hoping to be back to work by January. 
He works at Costco. Drives a forklift loading the shelves and they all have to do two hours of every shift at the cash. So the doctor said he was lucky he was in really good shape. Saved his life, the fact that he was in good shape. All right, those centers, I'm going to need to put more green in that. Mixed it with black, but there's just not enough color. There we go. Got little pieces of paint from off my paintbrush floating around on my desk. It just blew one away by accident. I saw something moving on my desk. I was like, what the heck is moving around on my desk? Anyway, it's okay. Figured out what it was. Anyway. Oh, you guys are so funny. Yet I still feel like Mr. Grumpy Pants. All right, and now, just for a final touch, I want to see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but I want to just do a little bit more. I'm going to dry off my brush, get it to a nice point, and I'm just going to try to, it picks up an awful lot of, I barely. I'm just trying to go back in and add a little more color on the ends of just on the ends of the petals. Sorry. Sniffle. I try to remember not to sniffle. Uh. Sorry. Please excuse my sniffles in advance. <laughs> yeah, Helene. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Emma, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh. Your 
try to worry where he heard that one. Okay, hold on. I gotta turn it like this where I have the. Gotta take some of the liquid out of the brush. So I just have it in the tip. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness the flowers are nice because the sky is horrible. Oh, no, that was already there. Okay. That was already there. I didn't just do that. Okay. You think, Janet? Put on some more water. Paper towel. All right. I need a better. I'm going to use my straight brush for this. Might supposed to be my clean water, but not so sure it's clean anymore. It's cleaner. <laughs> this is my dirty one. Just a moment. Okay. All right. Let's go in and see if I can scrub out some of this blue.
So I need to blend this just a little bit more between this patch here and that patch. started out really well my blue and then it all went awry so I overworked it went back and got that's the thing yeah that's one thing I find with the liquid watercolors you do kind of in a way have less control like I took a little bit too much blue and it kind of messed everything up very quickly and I just don't think you that's a little better I don't like this right here so maybe I will I have uh, some word a word I was gonna put it down here but actually, I just thought I need to do something. Hold on. Yeah, I need to do it with my paintbrush, I think. No, Terry, I don't. No, I don't want it to be a night sky. I wanted it to be lighter. So I got my fan brush here. It's a pretty big one. It might be too big for what I'm trying to do, but we'll see. We shall see. All right, where's my freaking green? Oh, there it is. This one is the green. I put black in it, so now it doesn't look so green anymore, so. Thank you, Emma. Thanks, guys. Let's see. Thinking of you. Miss you. Smile. Your 
thin tabulous mom wouldn't figure that one out you are a treasure oh i like that one All right. I'm going to practice it first on paper. Sophia. Thanks, Shay Rianne. No problem, Terry. <laughs> I don't really want to sleep, though, because I want to sleep tonight. So I don't really want to sleep. I'll just make you guys put up with my... grumpy mood. Okay. didn't go on straight I'm going to try and make it look straight by trimming the bottom a little crooked That'll be my Instapot. One moment, please. I don't know if I have to sign or not.
and groans. All right, so that's almost straight. <laughs> So now I need to trim the other side straight. Well, that's not working. So this is going to be a little smaller, so I'm going to have to put. I'm going to have to do it this way. way. Now it almost looks straight. Almost. A little better. I don't know because I don't have much food in the house except I do have rice, so maybe I'll just make some rice. Probably have a chicken breast in the freezer. And my new bottom, I lost the bottom for my cane. I think I must have lost it on the bus actually on the way back from mom's and I didn't notice it once I came back here. I didn't go out of the house for quite a few days after I came back. So it was kind of late, too late to call the bus and say, oh, by the way, did you find a rubber <laughs> stopper on the bus for a cane? It's like, yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, so I ordered a new one. And it's actually a quad quad ped bottom that I got for my cane, which is better than just the regular rubber stopper. So it'll give me more stability, a little more strength. And now I have to take my hoodie off because I'm hot just from going to answer the door. Yeesh! Terry's misbehaving. Oh, that's not a shock. I'm not at all surprised. I might send it to Mum. I don't know. I'll have to decide. All right. What was I? What else was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh, circles. Right. Circles. Circles, circles, circles. I want to try them with my liquids and I want to try them with Peerless. And I think I found my. What the... Although I don't know what I did with them, I think I put them in the pocket of my. Oh, yes, I did. I also found my Windsor and Newton watercolors. So I'll put those out in a palette and I'll do some circles. So we'll see how these different things react to make circles. How is that for a plan? Six. Six is halfway, Jean. Six is halfway. 
So this is cold press watercolor paper by Canson. It's not the greatest. Um, it's 90 pound. That's why. I do have some of their better, the blue book of watercolor paper somewhere, but I don't know where, so. This is just a test. So first, Of course. <sighs> well, you know, I can't uh, stay. Oh. Now my knees are. Okay. So let's do one, two. Okay, hold on. Hold the fort. <clears throat> Found my masking tape. Yay. I will not comment on the scan and cut. Travis, I'm always happy when people scan and cut works for them, but yeah, that's not my experience. And then on top of it, the customer service was crap. So there you go. I'll tell you. My advice is no to the scan and cut, yes to the Cameo, especially with the new Cameo. Uh, the Cameo 3, yeah. I'm not going to do this on all four sides because I'm not wetting the whole thing. I'm just going to do it on the two long sides so that it doesn't move on me and I can see what I'm doing. So just enough to... This is just dollar, Dollarama masking tape, so it's perfect for this because it's not totally high tack anyway, like some masking tapes are. Okay, let's try this again. Where's my big brush? No. All right, I know, what, oh, I was gonna say, I know I have a larger brush. So I'm wetting a circular area here. All right. Now I'm going into, let's do, so you want to make sure you use colors that are not going to muddy up on you. Now these may be too watered down now. And you just work fast, adding colors. And let them flow and blend and see what you get.
That red is still very strong. You guys, oh, sorry, you guys can't see it. Oh, hold on. Hold the fort. Yeah, when that red and purple and blue mixed, got a really nice, yummy plum kind of color there. Very pretty. I'm going to take... That's orange, so I can't add that in on this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to add, I was too slow here on this too. Okay. All right. So let's try another one here. And this time I'm going to use Okay, I don't have any yellow here, so where's my yellow? <clears throat> what am I going to pick up and put in for yellow? I could always put my yellow on here. I want, can't put it in the middle because it's too, um, all right, I need to put a smaller, oh no, oh, that was close.
put just gonna put a couple drops on there and I'll just use it from there It's interesting because some colors spread more quickly and better than others. I'm going to try a little red in the yellow, see if it'll stay away from the green. Thanks, Travis. I added a little, uh, a little black to it. I really like what that red's doing. See how the red's pushing, the red is pushing the yellow out. That's interesting. I have no idea what that means, but that's what it's doing. <laughs> the red is pushing the yellow out. So notice that the yellow and the red have the same shape because that red is pushing out the yellow. <laughs> on. Isn't that cool? I like that. So I'm going to go in with my heat gun because I really like what's happening in that circle. Going in with my thirsty brush, which means a basically dry brush and so that'll soak up any of those puddles there the excess that's collecting so it won't bloom back as it dries thanks judy Now over here, I worked it a little bit too much. So we have that white patch because the pigment moved over into an area that was more wet. I'll work on that for you, Vaughn. I'll work on it. A lot of the ones that probably haven't followed you back are ones that may not check their Twitter on a regular basis. So we just kind of have to tweet every day. If Vaughn's following you and you're not following her, she had to redo. We all do it, then eventually people will see it and find you. That's all.
Yeah, exactly, Eileen. All right. So I have a little yellow left here. Hmm. Let's do yellow and some more yellow and red because I really like how that yellow and red worked. So let's do one that's yellow and red and then I'm going to add a little blue into it. We'll see what we get. Okay. No, I can't add blue. That's why this turned muddy around the outside because I added blue. So yellow, red. We'll see. Sorry, I have to turn this a little bit so that I can see where I'm wetting. <laughs> you can do this with any shape. doesn't have to be circle, but, you know, we all love circles, right? going to use the yellow that's still on this. And I should be able to use some purple too. I'll get brown. Um, if I use this one, I'd might have enough blue that it won't turn brown on me. We'll see. Now it's turning brown, but that's okay. It's kind of a pretty orange, actually. It's kind of a pretty brown, so that's all right. Now let's see what happens if I put green in the middle of this one. See if it acts different with green in the middle of the yellow. Oh, the green's going to find the red. You can see the green's spreading a little bit, but it's not spreading like the red did in the yellow. Of course, it may not be as wet either. This is not a scientific experiment, people. I'm going to add purple here. I know it's going to give me an interesting color, but... I'm going to spray it, see what happens. I'm going to tip it, let's see what happens. So it's going to meet the green. The red's going to find the green, let's see what happens. These aren't pure colors, so I may not get brown. Hi, Sherry Ann. Dorothy, do I follow you on Twitter? I can't remember. I think I do. I don't want to lose that green. So let's pick up this. It's kind of interesting. I ended up with a real nice orange in there from the yellow and the red totally blended. It's 
interesting. They didn't they didn't blend as much here as here, so I must have had. Cool. All right, so that's the Sergeant Art liquid watercolors. Let's see what happens when I use my Peerless and do the same thing. Okay. So I'm going to move these. I am actually think I'm going to clean them up because they've gotten contaminated diluted quite a bit and let's face it I've got eight ounces I'm not gonna run out of these things just because I don't want to get them all over the place and I'll wash that later all right so now This is a photo album that I got a Dollarama, a dollar fifty, I think. And let me put these out of my way. One moment, please. Terry. Yep, Dorothy's the smart one in the crowd. PhD. Oh, uh, I I sort of do Carla, but um it's kind of a waste because I cannot journal on a page that has paint on it already. <laughs> I cannot journal on a page that has paint on it. I have to journal on a white page. So these are my Peerless watercolors. And I got several different sets. Some of them came in squares already. Some of them came in long strips. So this is a four by six journal and, or photo album so all I did was take a piece of watercolor paper and I just used my cheap it was really really cheap artist loft watercolor paper I got a pack of a hundred sheets of the watercolor paper for like two bucks really cheap for classroom kind of stuff anyway so I cut them up I swatched each one put it in the pocket and then I work from here, leaving this back one without anything in it so that if this is wet, I don't have to worry. I can turn it over. If it's still wet, it's going to transfer here onto the plastic. I can use it off the plastic. So these are my Peerless. And I actually had to cut about an inch and a half or so off the end i think these were eight inch i think they were eight inch strips and so stenciling no hi jillian welcome back no i'm not stenciling today why dorothy was i supposed to stencil today i sent the parts that i cut off to Linda White Holloway as a gift because she didn't have any so I said hey do you want my leftover ends so she gladly took my leftover ends so I got them color coordinated got them all labeled got them all swatched love my peerless I don't use them enough so the nice thing is these are would be easy to take home with me to do coloring and stuff I was going to stencil. 
pencil. This is what I was planning to do, finish up my watercolor stuff. But I can do some stenciling. I can do stenciling on Monday if you want. Now, next Thursday, I probably will not be streaming because Thanksgiving is on the 10th, which is a Monday here in Canada. And I will be heading home likely on the Wednesday. So I'm likely going home next Wednesday. Well, to Nova Scotia. This is, it's strict. Anyway, my childhood home. I still call it home. <laughs> Uh-oh. My, just a second. Kind of on an angle here. Very weird. One moment, please. Apologize for the movement. It seemed to be slanting this way today for some reason. One moment. Is that better? Just a second. I gotta move my screen so I can see. That's a little better, isn't it? But then it's not straight this way. No, it's still crooked. Now it's really crooked. Okay. There we go. All right. I think that works. Let's zoom a little bit. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Let's do a... Okay. Sorry, guys trying to get it so it looks straight yeah so next week um i don't want to be traveling on the bus on thursday or friday because university students will be on the buses they will be so loaded with university students so i'm gonna plan i'm planning to go down on wednesday and back here on either tuesday or wednesday the week after Well, exactly. It's my childhood home. Not that this isn't a home to me, but once a blue noser, always a blue noser. Born a blue noser, die a blue noser. So blue nosers are Nova Scotians, of course. All right. Here we go. And I need a new country paper towel here. nice and wet so we'll see oops went a little big on that circle a little bigger than I wanted oh well okay so of course I'm going to use some green love this green get some yellow And these you really have to swatch because you'd have no idea that that's yellow 
It looks almost olive. So right away you see there is a difference as far as flowing with these. We have to add a little more water. My spritz bottle. See what happens here. So you can get them flowing a little bit. Get them moving. Of course, then you spritz outside the circle a little bit. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a red, and I'm going to see if the red of this will move in a similar manner. as the red of the liquid watercolors. Let's see if it'll move the yellow in the same way. I mean, it's a different color red, so it may not, but let's see if it pushes it. Cool. Let's see what it does to the green. Let's see what it does to the blue. Okay, so where I'm forcing the mix, I'm getting brown. But where I'm not forcing the mix, it's staying, it's turned rose, but not brown. So I'm going to take that, it's kind of an olive brown neutral though, so it wasn't ugly. So in a way, these react um, a lot like watercolors, but um, they need more encouragement to move, which can be a good thing because sometimes you can have a little more control, I think, with these. Now, I'm removing that because that won't dry as quickly because there was more pigment there. It won't dry as quickly as the rest of the circle. So what will happen is then it will bloom out and that's when you get those ugly lines. When you, you want to have everything dry at the same speed and that's what I still need to practice. That's what happened with my blue sky in the card I was working on. Because I wasn't working fast enough so that everything dried at the same time. Yeah, it is fascinating, isn't it? Usually. All right, so let's get another one going up here. All right, what's another good color combo, you guys? Purple and blue. Let's see my greens where's my blues all right so let's do okay I've got a purple there and a blue there all right so let's do that oh did that backwards all right let's get some clean paint so let me give me this around here so I can see turning more into an oval than a circle, but that's okay. You just want to have defined edges so that the paint doesn't go beyond that. So. Oh, good one.
on, Jean. You didn't even put it where you have any paint. That's silly. I was wondering why it wasn't moving. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> wasn't even wet. All right, and then I'm gonna do, yep, very true, Eileen, the colors are great. Love my peerless, and I forget about them, you know? Oh, look at that purple, oh! That is a yummy color, I must say. I have to try and get a little more blue in there. All right, and I need a third color. Since it's gonna be beside the uh, blue, let's add that. And then take this pink Ooh. hardly any just a moment not affecting that yellow much at all. Let's spray that, see what happens. Of course, then you go beyond your circle, but I should have had a stencil and sprayed on a stencil circle. <sighs> Oh, they are. And you know what? Considering when you look at it, it kind of looks a little expensive. But basically what it turns out to is like a dollar for a two or two and a half by eight inch strip. You get just as much pigment in this two by eight inch, two and a half by eight inch strip. As you go, well, it's probably three inches. No, two and a half. Um, as you would get in a pencil. See, I don't have the Doc Martin, so I don't know. But these are, like, I'm not picking up very much off this. You can see it go lighter, but it that will get darker again once it dries. Like, I'm not taking much pigment off here. And look at that yummy. I mean, look at that. That's splendid. Look at this. Like, that is almost, well, no, it's not almost dry. Let's dry it, and we'll see. You'll see that they stay bright. That's the thing about the Peerless. When they dry, they don't seem to lose. They're so pigmented that they stay bright. All right, bye, Petka. I understand. Rest well. All right, I gotta gobble up some of this yumminess here. I'm gonna put it down over here. It's turning a little neutral because of the uh, the yellow and the blue because there's red in this purple, of course. So anytime you get all three primaries, so you can see I've got some nice neutral going here, but it's a really nice neutral. 
See, a really nice brown created there. Remember, anytime you get all three of your primaries together, in any kind of combination, you're going to get a neutral, right? Yeah, Vicki, they're fun. I got mine at um, Simon Says Stamp, I believe. Yeah, Simon Says Stamp, I think, is where I got mine. You can see I got some lines here, and that's because I didn't get that uh, excess water pulled up quick enough. Exactly, Terry. If you get eye contact with Peerless, it's all over. It's like a puppy. Okay, so that's dry. Those are dry. They've lost very little vibrancy. I mean, especially this one. Look at that. Oops. They lose very little vibrancy when they dry. I got some bloom there because I had too much water pool there when I sprayed it. But I should have gone in with my brush and guided it, but I want to looking for the flow. All right, bye, Vicky. Yeah, their own. Some some designers have their own like color coordinated um, peerless. Joanne Sharp, right? It was Joanne Sharp that has. So that's my peerless. I love my peerless. I might, I think I'm going to, I'm going to take those home. I have a, a moment I can't quite reach what I'm trying to reach for oh sorry my knees get locked up when I I have to sit with them up but then they get locked up it's like uh, kind of can't win for losing all right sorry I'm looking for my palette here all right this palette I had some really crappy um Really, really crappy Royal and Lang Nickel watercolors in. And they've, you can hear <laughs> what's happened to them. They've totally dried up. Hello. So, not too much I can do with them because they're so messed up. I'm going to end up getting mud. All right, so what the heck did I do with the other watercolors that I took out of my pocket? Oh, there they are. So I've got my Windsor & Newton ones. So I'm going to clean these up. Uh, I'm going to stop this recording and start another one because I don't need to record cleaning my palette. So I'll be back, but I'm not going anywhere for those watching the recording, watching the